Get a mask, give a mask. A local company now giving back to Western New York with a special new program that will help to keep people safe. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps. Colvin Cleaners in Kenmore is still open, continuing a family tradition of 89 years. But business is taking a hit. And as a dry cleaner, you know, we're pretty reliant on people going out and wearing clothes. And now that everyone is staying home and staying safe, most people don't have to report into work. We're seeing less and less volume come through our cleaners. Which means tailors and seamstresses were laid off. 44 years with the company, um, I had to lay some people off for the first time in my career. April usually marks the beginning of prom season. And every year, Colvin Cleaners lends a helping hand to high schoolers with its program, Gowns for Prom. But because the schools are shut down, you know, that's temporary postponed, probably canceled. So in thinking of different ways where we can help the community since we weren't able to give away gowns, um, we thought of the masks. It's called the Get a Mask, Give a Mask program. Employees are now back on the job, putting their sewing skills to work and repurposing to help the community. Processing upwards of two to three hundred a day. As Governor Andrew Cuomo announced Wednesday, he's extending the mask mandate to all New Yorkers, not just essential workers. Colvin Cleaners is willing to step in and fill that need, but they're prioritizing those who need the masks most. I guess anybody can get them, but they'll have to stand in line. Our, our customers will come first and our, our non-for-profits will come first. Essential employees have priority as well. The hope is when you get your mask, you return the favor and make a donation. Western New York's an incredible place. People are always looking to help out, so we're trying to do our part. And if people want to help as well, they can do it online. Masks are limited to two per household. If you know how to sew and would like to help out, they're looking for volunteers. You can find information on how to help and how to order your masks on our website at WKBW.com. In Kenmore, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.